Nineteen make it look so easy. What's up, Tuki Twenty? I'm Yannick, EPE of Tuki Ninety. This video, I'm gonna show you the realities versus the expectations of med school. Let's get into it. Procrastination. Now, you're probably gonna come into school and be like, I have four courses this semester, one foundation course. I'm gonna spread it up evenly and get everything done well, and I'm gonna leave the semester with all A's. Now, this little thing of procrastination sets in, and in reality, here's what happens. Oh, I have four courses, and I have one foundation course. Foundation, all you need to do is really pass or fail. Zing, nice. Four other courses. I have 13 weeks. Eh, uh, Brian, Uber, Privy, Flush. We go in? Nice. Week six was set in. Hmm. Hmm. All your friends will be going mid-semesters. You have no mid-semesters. Hmm. I finished study more, man. Look at that. You know? I finished... Do some path in FDT. Yo, Shelly! Movies? There we go. Week 8 was set in. Hmm. 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. I'll find more weeks man. Yo! What are you doing tonight? Exam next week. Stress! Now, unless you're a very organized and well structured person, procrastination is probably never an issue for you and you could go full speed ahead. However, if you were accustomed with your parents, baby and you through CXC and through CAPE, sending you to extra lessons, making you sit down and study, then coming to medicine and coming to UWE might pose a problem. You have to actually take that initiative to sit down and study every single day. Oh, this is my, my clipboard, by the way. Procrastination. Procrastination? Is really bad and you don't want it. Next topic. Study. Now you're gonna come into class and you're gonna say, I gonna study every single day. I'm gonna form a study groups. I'm gonna link up with my friends from my high school, my sister or brother high schools. What is really gonna happen is school drains a lot from you. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you will soon understand after about the third week of school. Now, this ain't no CAPE or CXC, so you can't do no one hour or 45 minutes. You need to do about three, four hours of solid work. Be organized, study well. Next topic. Come into class. You're probably gonna say, I'm gonna come to class every single day. For the first month and a half, the lecture theaters will be packed to capacity. There's a theater three will be filled first, and then the spillover will go to lecture theater two. Some people learn by coming to class, some people learn by just reading the material. You need to figure out how you learn. And because you see your friend or your peer not coming to class mean that you could do it as well. Coming around the eighth week of school, lecture theater three will be half filled. Lecture theater two is completely locked. You don't even bother to open lecture theater two anymore. If you're one that learns by coming to class, come to class. Go to your anatomy lab. This is so important, especially for first semester. First semester, you have a big course called musculoskeletal. A lot of people try to look at the credits to predict how heavy a course is. In medicine, you can't really do that. Musculoskeletal, as some people call it, is the hidden five credit course. It might seem like a little bit, but really and truly, it is a lot. The best way to learn anything, especially if you're a visual learner, is see anything. Go to your tutor lab sessions, sit down, and absorb the material. Relationships. Alright, next topic. Not getting into this one. Coach, uh, I don't know if I can make practice this weekend. Uh, pencil me in for next week, Tuesday. Okay, what? 
You see, 2K20, I will come the Tuesday after my graduation. I'm going to get up every morning and I'm going to exercise and I'm going to eat very healthy. My closing words would be keep a nice support system. Everyone have their different issues, but everybody in class still has a common goal. And that common goal is to graduate and be the best professional they could be. So look out for each other. I'm 20. Have a good day. And I'm talking to myself in my room at 6 o'clock in the morning. I have no friends.